Hello everyone, I'm Nick. Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's continue our Hogwarts mystery. We are about to continue with the time limited side quest. Teacher appreciation celebration, I guess. Yeah. Uh, interviews and research chess. We are about to visit Professor Quirrell for interview about Professor McGonagall. Muggle studies, go! Yeah, this is a new class. New room. Muggle studies! Visit Professor Quirrell. Muggle studies! First time entering this classroom. Wow! Television computer? What the? You do have a complete collection. Alright, Professor Quirrell. Professor Quirrell! Yes? Hi, I'm Nick Cowdog. I haven't had the pleasure of taking your class yet, but was hoping I could talk with you. Yeah, it is muggle items for real. Is that a uh, with airplane? What the microwave? Really? Pizza box? Wow! Whoa! Look at this place. I've never been in this classroom. So many fascinating objects. Mm -hmm. Muggles do have some eccentric obsessions, but don't we all? Though hmm. no, funny, you should notice. My own student interviewer, Marula's night didn't seem as taken. Maybe she was just distracted with her project. Hmm. I would say she was decidedly the opposite. Hmm. Interesting character that Miss Knight. Hard to tell if she's good, bad or something in between. Hmm. What do you think about Marula? She's definitely good. Oh, uh, I doubt that. She's got a bad side. Yeah, that's true. Something in between is right. Something in between is right. Yeah, something like that. Marula is a little hard to read. So something in between might be right. The good Marula is strong and powerful. The bad one can be angry and temperamental. I suppose we all have two sides. To who we are. Do you have the Voldemort sides? But we should be wary of letting our passions and pursuits corrupt our better selves. Hmm. Now, what can I do for you? I've got to prepare for my next lecture. Then I'll get right to the point. I've been assigned Professor McGonagall for my teacher appreciation presentation. Hmm. The guest of honor herself. Big responsibility. I hope you can do mechanical justice. That's what I'm here for. I know you were Professor McGonagall's student before you joined the faculty and wondered if you'd be willing to talk with me about her. Right. I'm happy to talk to you while I survey this office. I'm trying to find what the muggles call a video game. I can help you with that. But... Go ahead and ask your questions while I look. Agreed. Brilliant. What can you tell me about Professor McGonagall as a teacher? With video game. Cash register. Ah. There it is on the right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the video games. So, interview Quirrell. Start. Wow, look at the dog. Nice. McGonagall is very brave. Alright. Anything else? Was Professor McGonagall your favorite teacher? 
really a blender? There are so many objects here, I'm not sure I'll ever find what I'm looking for. Professor McGonagall has a thirst for knowledge that still inspires me. Yeah, look at the duck. Robert Duck. These Muggles artifacts are so odd, I find myself distracted and wondering at them. Muggles artifact. Nice. Robert Duck, really? What surprised you about your professor? Professor McGonagall was easy to respect as a teacher as she demanded it. Yeah, that's true. Professor McGonagall was one of my most strict teacher. Professor McGonagall is quite kind. Oh yes he is. Even if she's upset with you, McGonagall looks out for you. That is also true. Success! Collect! <laughs> the truth is, Professor McGonagall is a wise and well-versed teacher. And even as a student, I admire her bravery in standing up to he who must not be named. Of course! <laughs> but she also helped me personally. How so? I was bullied as a student, but Professor McGonagall helped me to understand that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And by seeking it out, I could become stronger. That's part of the reason I'm a teacher today. How inspiring. But what's your favorite quality about the professor? Mm -hmm. She's stern, but also caring. She took the time to help me. And I also related to her. Because we both had a parent who was a muggle. I don't know that. So I suppose I could say my favorite quality is her humanity. Thank you, Professor. This has been so helpful. Alright then. I should get on with finding this video game. It runs on something called batteries. Can you imagine? Yes, I can imagine that. No, but I hope to learn more someday. Maybe if I'm lucky enough to take your class. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm still here. I intend to take a sabbatical and do a grand tour searching for the more knowledge soon. Mm -hmm. And where I'm going to do then to wear a lot of hats. I've been trying this one out. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? Do I strike you as a hat person? 
what comes in the future, you definitely need one. Definitely! A hat suits you. The more dramatic, the better. Good to know. I quite fancy hats. One last thing, Professor. Do you perhaps know what Professor McGonagall is so interested in wizard chess? Um, well, she was quite the Quidditch fan when she was my teacher. Maybe she just enjoys games. Muggle or magic, that seems to be universal. Of course, you're right, Professor. And now, I know exactly who to interview next. Madam Hooch. Yeah, the Quidditch. Visit Professor Quirrell. Done. Interview Madam Hooch. Flying class is over. Meet me at the training grounds to talk. I'm coming, Madam Hooch. Interview Madam Hooch. Training grounds. Go. Training grounds. Interview Madam Hooch. Wait, who's that? What are you doing? Drawing? Really? Madam Hooch, I was hoping I could talk to you for a moment. Mm -hmm. Looking to improve your brumology skills, are you? I've noticed your landings can be a little rough. Agreed, and move on. Defend your skills. Actually, I think my landings are quite graceful. Having confidence in your skills is good. But don't be afraid to listen to constructive criticism as well. Pride shouldn't stop you from learning. That's true. I'll consider that. But actually, I'm here because I've been trying to learn more about Professor McGonagall. Got the old girl as your subject for your presentation at the teacher appreciation celebration, did you? I did, and as the being specially honored, I want to do my research. I know you both quite like Quidditch. Ah. Like? It's more than that. It's been a lifelong infatuation. Hmm. And in fact, we both played when we were students here at Hogwarts. Wow. That's brilliant. Would you tell me more about her? Ah. I do enjoy telling tales. Especially about a day that lives in Hogwarts infamy. When Slytherin won the Quidditch Cup over Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. So you're a Slytherin? Oh. Though whether it was a fair win was question. I'd love to hear all about it. Wait, Professor McGonagall is Gryffindor, right? Interview Hooch, start! I wasn't a referee then, but I had a good eye for plays. McGonagall as a Quidditch player must have been tough as nail. Professor McGonagall suffered a concussion in that match. Professor McGonagall must have played for House Gryffindor. Yeah. How about you, Madam Hooch? Professor McGonagall was injured in an allegedly fall move at a key moment. Do you think Slytherin winning the match was the right call? Minerva's injuries during the Quidditch Cup were serious. She broke her ribs. Is that famous match one of the most exciting you've ever heard about? McGonagall was a gifted player in her time. No doubt. McGonagall, as a Quidditch player, must have been tough as nails. The match is certainly legendary.
success! Collect! I can certainly say that contentious match between the rival hosts left McGonagall with more than just injuries. It also created a lifelong desire in Minerva to see Slytherin crossed on the Quidditch pitch. Sounds like you're suggesting that Professor McGonagall is quite competitive. <sighs> she certainly is that. It's one of my favorite things about her. And though we may not always agree about certain calls, I also know she can't abide cheaters. And I agree. Ah. Then I won't bother asking you for any chess move suggestions. For the game the professor and I are playing. <sighs> Probably a good call. McGonagall wouldn't like that. Though I couldn't help if you did. I don't know a thing about wizard chess. Ask Murphy. Alright then. Safe on both counts. Hmm. The truth is McGonagall respect honesty, integrity, fairness and commitment in all things. Hmm. Though I wish she'd also respect my calls in Quidditch now that I'm a referee. She heckless from the sidelines. Like you said, she's a true enthusiast. Thank you, Madam Hooch. This was really helpful. I'll leave you to prepare for your next class. <sighs> Good luck on your presentation and your chess game. Thank you. Against someone as really as Professor McGonagall, you're going to need it. That reminds me, it's time for my next move. I'm off to see Professor McGonagall next. Ah, all right. Interview, Madam Hooch, done. Talk to Professor McGonagall. I'm in the Great Hall. Meet me there now. I'm coming. Talk to Professor McGonagall. Great Hall, go. Great Hall. Talk to Professor McGonagall. So are you ready for extra interview, Professor? I'm happy to help a student so long as you don't mind me drinking ample amounts of butterbeer whilst I do. Oh, uh, what? For uh, any teacher appreciation presentation on Hagrid to be complete, it must include an interview with his creatures. Yeah, that's so true. Crafty, wow. Crafty worries that dinner will be late unless Crafty get help right away. Right, Crafty, you'll get help. Don't worry about that. Professor McGonagall, I've been looking for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but if you could hold on a moment, I, it seems there's a problem in the kitchens. Now go on, you were saying Crafty? Mm -hmm. Crafty needs Professor McGonagall to come to kitchens right away. Crafty worries dinner won't be ready in time. Mm -hmm. Then take it up with bits. I don't see why I should need to intervene. Crafty is here because Pitts specifically asked Crafty to bring Professor McGonagall. Why are you shaking? Well, let's not resort to hysterics. I'll come with you probably if it's that important. But Professor, I was hoping we could continue our interview for the teacher appreciation presentation. Look at Crafty, come on. I'm very sorry, but whatever this problem with Pits is... I see! Well then, perhaps I could come with you and we could talk on the way. It's just that I want to be prepared for the celebration with what you've been specifically recognized and all? Hmm. Yes, you have mentioned that. And of course, I'm eager to get back to our chess game as well. Ah, I see you've already strategizing well. Bringing up our game is wise. Mm -hmm. And I admit, I'm curious what your next move might be. If you're willing to give me a preview, I intend to take out my castle. I haven't decided. I'm keeping the move to myself, Professor. I think I'll keep my next move to myself, Professor. What kind of clever strategy calls for a player 
to tell their opponent what they are planning. Everything one does in chess sends a message, including keeping one's plan close to the fast. Crafty is anxious pitch will reprimand Crafty for not returning quickly with partner for McGonagall. Very well, let us get on with it then. I don't want you to fret anymore. Look at him. Mr. Kaudok, I'll meet you in the Transfiguration Classroom quite soon to continue both our endeavors. Hello, Paddy. Did you see Crafty? <laughs> Hello, Nick. I saw you talking to Professor McGonagall. Did you get some helpful information for your presentation? Not yet. Unfortunately, she was too busy to talk right now, Paddy. <laughs> Professor McGonagall will make more time for you. I'm sure of it. In the meantime, why don't you tell me who you've talked so far and what you've learned from them? I learned not so much actually. Talk to Patty, start! Which other professors did you consult? Professor Quill mentioned he's going on a grand tour to search for knowledge. And he found more than that. Did you learn anything you didn't know before about Professor McGonagall? Madame Hoots told me she and Professor McGonagall play Quidditch together. I'm looking forward to taking Muggle studies. I don't. Madame Hoots respects Professor McGonagall's competitive spirit. I'm sure your interview will continue to yield interesting facts about your subject. Hopefully. Professor Quirrell helped me realize that I should talk to Madame Hooch. Professor Quirrell was quite kind and generous with his time and information. That's true. Success! Go like Sounds like interviewing Professor Quirrell and Madame Hoots was very informative and helpful. It's true. So far, I've learned that McGonagall's considered to be wise, humane, and competitive. But I still need something more personal. I want to go deeper into what makes McGonagall well. McGonagall? Huh? Got any ideas who to interview next? Professor Dumbledore? So far, I've talked to a former student who's now a peer and someone who knows McGonagall as an athlete. <laughs> well, if you want to get some real personal insight into Professor McGonagall, you should talk to a friend. That's who would know me best. You're right, maybe even some Professor McGonagall grew up with. Huh? I believe Professor Sprout and Professor McGonagall overlap when they were students at Hogwarts. Professor Sprout is perfect. Time to interview the Herbology Professor. Talk to Professor McGonagall. Done. Interview Professor Sprout. Let's chat at the training grounds. Coming. Interview Professor Sprout. Training grounds. Go. Training grounds. Interview Professor Sprout. Why not in the greenhouse? So what are you doing here, Professor Sprout? I wonder if the teacher appreciation celebration will have bought a beer? I don't think so. I think I should have my own appreciation day. I'd call it the most powerful witch at Hogwarts Day. Congratulations, Marula. Why isn't there a student appreciation celebration yet? Professor Sprout! I thought I could catch you on the way to the Herbology classroom. Then you're in luck because you did catch me. And that's where I'm headed. Now, can I help you? I was hoping we could talk about your relationship with Professor McGonagall. 
I'm working on my presentation about her for the teacher appreciation celebration. Congratulations! You're very lucky to have such a wonderful subject. I agree. I've talked to your peers but was especially interested in the fact that you've been friends for so long. That's true. As we met here at Hogwarts when we were just students many years ago. So I'd be happy to talk to you. Though there's something I'd like in return. Help you with something? What's that? It's simply something I often ask the students here at Hogwarts. A curiosity as the resident herbologist. What is your favorite magical plant? Oh wow. Whomping Willow. Gillyweed. That gives you gills, right? Gillyweed? Mistletoe? Oh. Uh... Whomping Willow. I love that tree. I know it's quite dangerous, but I've always dreamt of visiting the Whomping Willow. Dangerous indeed. The Whomping Willow is a very violent, sentient species. Sounds like you're quite brave or foolish. And now that you've satisfied my curiosity, let's talk about my friend Professor McGonagall. Brilliant! So can you explain something? Tell me something I don't know. Interview Professor Sprout. Start. Minerva McGonagall had top scores on both her olds and newts. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so grateful to talk with you about this, Professor Sprout. As a student, Professor McGonagall was both as prefect as well as head girl. It's fun to imagine you and Professor McGonagall as students just like me. Professor McGonagall helped me study for all my major exams. She's a good friend. What was Professor McGonagall like as a young woman? Minerva helped me learn transfigurations and I helped her learn her apology. You must have spent quite a lot of time together as a student. I'm so grateful to talk with you about this, Professor. Help me get used to Hogwarts when I was feeling homesick. Professor McGonagall has been one of my closest friends since we... Success! Collect! It sounds like you and Professor McGonagall supported each other as classmates and friends. Oh. Yes, that's true. I think the thing that I find most wonderful about her is her caring and devotion as a friend. She does seem quite devoted. I've noticed she always helping others, rushing off to deal with teaching work or sudden problems at Hogwarts? Mm. You sound a bit disappointed. Are your interviews proving challenging? Maybe I was just excited about getting to spend time with one of the most popular teachers at the school. We are playing a wizard chess game, which is exciting, but I'm having trouble getting her to open up for the interview. Mm. I can see you appreciate Professor McGonagall but that you can feel tested by her too. And that's understandable. As a teacher, she's quite formidable. What? You have to earn her respect. How? 
but I can assure you that, like plants, all relationships simply need time and nurturing to bloom. I don't have that long of time. So, you think my relationship with the professor can blossom like a plant? Huh. Absolutely! Take what you've learned so far and tend to the relationship, and you'll see for yourself. Thank you, professor. You may even given me some ideas for my next chess move. And now, I'm off to see Professor McGonagall. Watering Professor McGonagall. Interview Professor Sprout, done. Play chess with McGonagall. Time for your next chess move. Meet in the transfiguration now. Alright, Professor McGonagall. I'm gonna do this on the next episode, yeah, interviews. And we shot chess. Play chess with McGonagall in the Transfiguration Classroom. Yeah, I'm gonna do this on the next episode. I'm gonna conclude this episode here after completing this Time Limited Side Quest. A Teacher's Appreciation Celebration Part 2. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on the next Hogwarts Mystery.